at Wapakoneta, the ledger continues to grow. Michael Hearn tell me 82 straight wins for Travis Moyer. It's a lot. Can we just say a lot of wins in a row? That means Wapakoneta has not lost in the regular season in a long time as well. Skins back home tonight with Bath coming to Auglaize County. Wildcats tops in the WBL on pass defense. Wapak doesn't throw it much, so I don't know how much that means. But all three of the league losses by Bath after beating state-ranked Delphi St. John's by 11 points or less. So they've played tight ball games, but can they tonight down at Harmon Field? Wapak always tough at home. Bath starts with it, trying to Dent the scoreboard first. Caden Sullivan takes the snap, finds Logan Schaefer, picks up six. It's pushed down, or gets pushed forward, I should say, for a first down. Nice job by the Bath offense. Sullivan then takes the snap. But how about Mitchell Apple? I think he's a second baseman or center fielder. He picks that one off and takes it all the way to the 20 out of the water park. Remember the water park this summer? Good times. Manny Voorhees takes the snap. He rolls out. But look at the bat defense. Sack, 11-yard loss. Would this be a defensive stalemate tonight? Voorhees says, I don't think so. Let's find Tyler Copeland, who wrestles this one in between two defenders to the one, two plays later. Voorhees is in, 7-0 Redskins, 6-13 left in the opening quarter. Sullivan trying to get Bath back in it, calls his own number. First down with some help. He's dragging guys once again. Sullivan then. Going to take his chances with the air, finds Harrison Goff, who picks up a first down as well. But this was Wapakoneta's night. 41-13, Redskins victorious, 5-0 on the season. As Coach Moyer's illustrious string continues of regular season wins, that Wapak team getting better as they get used to their new starting.